So what's up guys, my name's Seth, you're watching Petro360, and today, we're gonna do some powder coating. So first, a little bit of backstory. Um, these wheels and tires are off of my daily driver. Um, the uh, tires themselves have a ton of tread, but they have a lot of dry rotting as well. And I actually picked up a screw a week or so back, and it decided <coughs> to punch a hole through the sidewall. So. These went flat, it's time to get new tires, and on top of that, the clear coat is failing on these aluminum wheels, so what we're gonna do is take the tires off, sandblast the wheels, pre-bake the wheels, and then I've got some uh, gray metallic that we're gonna throw on these. Hopefully it should look pretty good, so uh, stick with us and uh, watch. For these um, it's Black Friday I had a pretty good sale so I bought some nice Toyo just all weather tires to go on my you know my daily driver um, but yeah so this is kind of what we're dealing with um, on the faces of these wheels they're diamond cut and the clear coat on the faces is just falling off left and right and they look like trash um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and powder coat them so first step um, Got to get the uh, tire pressure uh, sensor off and the valve stand off so we can sandblast them and then pop the center caps off and go ahead and pop all of the, uh, the um, weights that are going to go on here as well because we want them gone. I'm not going to powder coat the actual inner barrel but all of the outside, all the faces you'll see, they're all going to get powder coated. So. So everything is stripped off our wheels, all the wheel weights, the center caps, the valve stem, everything. So we're going to throw it in the blasting cabinet and uh, take off all this clear coat. Alright, so that's the first wheel done. It's in the oven, but not to powder coat. What I'm doing right now is going to a process called off-gassing. Um, pretty much pre-bake the wheel and that helps burn off any oils and any kind of gas that's going to be released when we actually go to bake it off. Um, I haven't done alloy wheels yet and I heard that's something you need to do so I'm going to go ahead and try it. So they're sitting in there 400 degrees right now to get all that off. Same blasting, of course it sucks, it takes a long time but um, I switched out grits to a little bit coarser of a grit and it took the clear coat off a lot faster. Um, so that's a big plus. but. This is almost done. I'm getting everything set up to actually powder coat right now, and then uh, we'll go to that, so. Oh yeah, and I forgot, we're actually going to be using uh, a color from uh, Powder by the Pound. It's uh, Black Mother of Pearl. Haven't done anything with a pearl or metallic yet, so I'm really interested to see how it's gonna do. We got two pounds, should be plenty to do the wheels and have some leftover from other projects, so. Um, uh, but yeah, we've always had uh, really good results from Powder by the Pound. They ship out really fast. I needed this pretty quick um, before the holidays. Um, they got it out fast for pretty cheap shipping too. So tons of colors and everything and uh, seems like their customer service isn't that bad either. So.
it's been a long weekend. Um, so a couple things. Number one, my first wheel took forever, about three hours. As it would turn out, the first wheel, which was the worst one where the clear coat was actually peeling off, that one had been repainted. And so it had two layers of paint and it took, you know, two, three times as long to actually powder or sandblast than the rest of them. Um, but the rest of them came out pretty good. Uh, so you can see, looks uh, looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Not perfect, but um, definitely a heck of a lot better than it was. So uh, already got tires bought. Um, they're gonna go sometime this week to get tires wrapped in them. Um, the tire pressure sensor put back on, and we'll get them back on the car. So you'll see that here in a second. It's still in the future for me. I've got to wait a week before I'm gonna get the car back. So. You know, if you like the video, um, you know, please like, subscribe, and uh, follow the rest of the builds and everything else I got going on. So, thanks, guys.